Prince Harry felt sick as Prince William turned down wedding plea with four-word excuse. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be gearing up to celebrate a very special day tomorrow, their fifth wedding anniversary. It is almost exactly five years since they tied the knot in a fairy tale wedding at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. Since then, their lives have taken a very different path from what would have been expected, with the couple quitting royal life for California while Harry is barely on speaking terms with his older brother Prince William. It was on the wedding day on May 19, 2018, that William stood by his brother's side as he welcomed bride Meghan down the aisle before saying, I do. But the night before the nuptials, Harry has since revealed he was left, feeling sick, following a tense chat with William. In his memoir Spare, Harry recalls having drinks with friends at Coworth Park Hotel, where he stayed the night before his big day at Windsor Castle. He claimed William, who had just become a dad for the third time, had been due to join them but he cancelled at the last minute, citing Kate and the kids. He then goes on to say that he reminded William that it was their tradition as the night before the now Prince of Wales's wedding, the pair had dinner together ahead of greeting the crowds. Harry claims William asked, Why are you even saying hello to the crowds, Harold? To which Harry in response admitted in the book, I felt sick about it. However, Harry did concede that William eventually changed his mind about greeting the crowds and did agree to join his brother, as the Duke of Sussex wondered. Maybe Granny intervened. Harry says he pressed William about having dinner together and staying the night, and eventually, he relented and agreed to dinner, but wouldn't be staying over, reportedly telling his brother, sorry, Harold. Can't. Kids. The traditional gift to give for five years of marriage is wood, so it's a possibility that the couple will exchange gifts made from the material on Friday. It is also likely they will be marking the day privately, probably with their children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Prince Harry's memoir Spare became the fastest-selling non-fiction book ever when his tell-all tale criticizing the royal family was finally published earlier this year.